Hello, this is a continuation on uh, Chinese remain material. So just um, an example of how can it be applied. Um, let's imagine the situation we have two numbers, say 5 and 9, and these are prescribed congruence classes, mod say 6 and um, 11. And uh, the task is yeah, just a straightforward application of Chinese remainder theorem to apply uh, it to find a number which gives uh, these uh, congruence classes, to find x. So we know uh, that it's going to be unique modulus 66, but let's just find some. Um, the trick is to write this uh, unknown x in a um, convenient form. So the convenient form will be a combination of uh, 6 and 11. And the condition, key, the key condition uh, uh, which makes it applicable uh, for Chinese remainder theorem is that the moduli 6 and 11 are co-prime. So anything can be written as a combination of 6 and 11. In particular, our uh, unknown x. In this form, the conditions we have, that the congruence is mod 6 and, and 11 are what they are, become uh, conditions on this uh, coefficients a and b. Uh, so the first congruence mod 6 will leave us with 11b instead of x and that will have to be 5 mod 6. Uh, the second uh, gives us 6a congruence to um, 9 mod 11. So that is um, the pair of conditions uh, by again by the by by the um, by the input uh, conditions six and eleven are co-prime, so these multiples will be going will going to be invertible modular the um, uh, the moduli we have, and so we will be able to solve it. So let's solve it um, uh, for b first. Uh, well, eleven mod six is as good as negative one. So I'm going to use negative numbers because it's going to simplify my computations. So instead of 11, I could think uh, of negative b being congruent to 5 mod 6. And um, 6 uh, is a product of 2 and 3, and uh, 9 is a product of 3 and 3, and 3 is invertible, so 3 uh, is uh, invertible. mod 11 and so I can cancel it out from my equation I have 2a uh, congruent to 9 mod 11 uh, well go, going back to the first congruence I know that b is um, negative 5 uh, which is the same as 1 mod 6 and uh, here I have to invert 2 so I need to find the inverse of 2 and multiply both sides by, uh, sorry, that's supposed to be 3 on the other side. Uh, multiply by the inverse of 2 mod 11. And uh, the inverse of 2 is going to be um, um, 6, because uh, 2 times 6 is going to be 12, which is 1 mod 11. So if I take uh, my equation, multiply both sides by 6, I will have uh, just... Uh, 2 times 6 a congruent to 3 times 6 mod 11 and um, uh, well just finishing the answer for a uh, this is 1 so a is congruent to whatever the product is which is 18 but 18 mod 11 is 7 so I know my answers uh, I know my a and b I know them as uh, 1 and 7 or that way around so x is then uh, what it is, 6 times 7 plus 1 copy of 11. So um, uh, 6 times 7 is 42, and uh, with 11, well, here I can just write equal, because I'm looking at this stage for just an integer solution. So that uh, is uh, going to be 53. 
And modulo uh, 66, uh, where my answer is going to be unique, uh, it is also um, negative 13. Because adding uh, or subtracting rather 66 out of 53, I will have negative 13. So I will just finish with checking, with verifying that this is the correct answer. I have to reduce it mod 6 and mod, uh, mod 11 and see that the, condition, uh, that the conditions are met. So uh, if I start with negative 13, and um, what can I do? Mod 6 can add 12. 12 is a multiple of 6 is 0, so I'll have negative 1, which is mod 6 is as good as 5. And uh, I, I, I verified the first condition. Module 11, negative 13, uh, is, so this is performing the verification, uh, is uh, as good as negative 2. But negative 2, adding another copy of 11, is um, the same as 9. So I have both conditions met. I've solved my problem. Uh, this is a unique answer, either in this or in this form, it will be acceptable. And um, let me follow up with a different, perhaps differently phrased question, which would uh, naturally lead to this uh, type of problem. So let me assume that I'm, say, inverting 5 modulo 66. I need to uh, solve the congruence, 5 times something is 1 modulo 66. Need to find the inverse. Uh, since 66 is a product of two co-prime things, I can use um, Chinese reminder trick. So I can instead uh, solve this in, 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 in inverse congruence uh, for um, mod 6 and mod 11 separately and then combine solutions. So what do I know um, uh, o o about this x mod 6? Well, um, I have to solve this congruence. 5 mod 6 is negative 1. So I have negative x congruent to 1 mod 6. I have x being congruent to negative 1, which is the same as 5. And what do I know here? Um, well, um, just have to um, improvise. So I can, I can um, really trial and error, but I will do it by trial and error. But I just can um, see that uh, 11 is uh, one step away from 10. So 10 is negative 1 mod 11, but 10 is also equal to 5 times 2. So 2 is not the inverse. But the uh, product, uh, product of 5 and 2 is negative 1. So negative 2 will be the inverse. If I put everywhere a negative sign, I will have my inverse. So um, to find the inverse, x is congruent to negative 2 mod 11, which is uh, again the same as 9 mod 11. Just the conditions we had. So the answer we found is either negative 13 or 53. I will take negative 13 because it is going to be it is going to be easier to verify. Again, I'm going to verify that this indeed is my inverse. So what I need to see is that 5 multiplied by negative 13 is going to be uh, congruent to 1 modulo 66. So let's see what it is. Well, if we just multiply them with minus sign, we'll have 50 plus 15, 65. So 65 with negative sign is 1 mod 66. If we add 66 to it, we get 1. So that is it. We verified that x inverse is negative 13, which is the same as 53 mod 66. 53 is, uh, is another uh, acceptable answer, but say verifying the invertibility property would be more um, involved computationally. So that's why negatives are quite good sometimes.
I'll see you later with another application.